Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to graph linear functions. We go through these five examples together. We have something with fractions, negative numbers, decimal numbers, special cases. So a lot is going on. Let's start with our first example. We want to graph this linear function here and it is in the perfect form already because this is the slope intercept form of a linear function. So every linear function can be written in the following form y equals m times x plus b. And if we compare these two forms now, we can see in front of our x, this is going to be our m. So in front of our x, this number is our m, the 3 over 2. And the number that is here, this is our b then, so the number where it, there is no x. On the left side we always have to have y equals, so we have y equals. So it is perfectly prepared and every linear function is going to be a line when we draw it. So it's going to look like this maybe, or like this, or like this, something like this, a line, and we only need m and b to be able to draw this line m is going to be the slope of our line and b is going to be the y-intercept, so where our line intercepts the y-axis. So m in our case, let's write it down, is 3 over 2 and b in our case is plus 1, so it equals 1. And now if we want to draw this line, we always start with the b b equals 1, so we go to our y-axis and search for this number for the 1. The 1 is here, we can draw a little x. This is our first point of our line. But now we need a second point and we find this with our m. m is the slope of our line and we find the slope by rise over run. So rise is the number here on top, it's the positive 3. So from our x we just drew here, we rise 1, 2, 3, and then the second number is our run. So it's a positive 2, so from here we go positive 2, we run positive 2 steps here, and where we end up there we put our second x and now this is the second point of our line. Now we only have to connect these two lines. Let's try it. It should look like, yeah, perfect, like this. And this is the line from our linear equation here. Let's take a look at the second example. We have to graph this linear function here. It is again perfectly in the slope intercept form because we have y equals m times x plus b. m is the number in front of the x, so it is a 3 this time, m equals 3. And b is the number here without the x, but be careful with the sign. So plus b would be our b, but if you have a negative 2 here, our b is negative as well, so it is negative 2. But the rules are the same. We start with our b, we take the negative 2, go to our y-axis and put an x here at the negative 2. Then we take a look at our m, which is the rise over run again, the slope, but this time we don't have a fraction here. We only have an integer, just the 3. But we can write the 3 as a fraction by dividing by 1. So 3 is the same as 3 over 1. So we rise 3 from our x, 1, 2, 3, and then we run 1, positive, so from here we run 1 to the right, we put our x here and then we just connect these two x's, well not so good this time, but you know, <laughs> yeah, you can do it better with a ruler, uh, so just connect the two x's and then you have your line. What about the third example here? looks a bit different, but let's see if we have the slope intercept form m times x plus b. There is an x in here, okay, so what is the number in front of our x? 
If we don't see any number, it is always a one. So we have one times x here. So our m equals one. And what about our b? There is no other number here. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be one, but if we want to fill it, we can write it as plus zero. So our b is just not there, it's a zero, but we can work with that. The rules are the same. We start with a b, so we go on our y-axis, we go to the zero and put our x here. And then we do our little rise over run thing. We write the one as a fraction, so one over one. We rise by one, so from our x we rise by one. And then we run one. So from here, one to the right. This is where we put our x. We connect the two axes here and it should look like this. This is our line. Although there were no number really in here, we couldn't see any number in front of our x, but it has this form. What about the next example? Hmm. Is this the slope intercept form already? No, it's not. We need something like y equals mx plus b, but here we have y minus 3 equals something. So we first have to find the slope intercept form by taking the negative 3 to the right side. We can do this by adding 3 on both sides. So we get y, these two cancel out, equals negative 1.2x and then we have the plus 3. And now this is well prepared for finding the slope, so the number in front of our x. So our m equals negative 1.2 in this case. And our b is the number without the x. So our b is going to be just the 3. We start with our b, so we go to our y-axis to the 3 and set our x here. And now we take a look at our slope. Well, we would love to have this as a fraction, so let's convert this decimal number to a fraction by taking this number without the decimal point, so just the 12, and writing this in the numerator of our fraction. And then we have to divide by the place value of the last digit. So after the decimal point, we have tenths. So we divide by 10. We could work with this fraction or we reduce it so that the numbers are a little bit smaller. Both numbers are divisible by 2. So if we divide 12 by 2, it equals 6. And if we would divide 10 by 2, it equals 5. So we have negative 6 over 5 for our slope. So from here, we start with the rise. Be careful that you need the sign as well. So the rise is negative 6, which means from here we go 6 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the negative direction. And then we run 5 in the positive direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We put our x here. This time our line looks like this. Ha, almost perfect. And we found the line to this equation here. Last example, a special case. We are looking for the slope intercept form m times x plus b and want to find m, the number in front of our x. Huh. There is no x in our equation here. So what does that mean for our m? Well, m just equals zero. Because there is no x, the m lets the x disappear. So you could write it like zero times x if you want to, that you see in front of the x, you just have the zero here. So it lets disappear this term here. So our m equals zero, which is not a bad thing. It's okay. It's just a special case. And the number here that doesn't have an x, that is our b. So b in our case equals negative 2. So to draw this line we start at negative 2 on the y-axis, so here, and from here 
we have m equals 0. So our slope equals 0. So our negative 2, or the line we have to draw, is just a line through negative 2 because our slope is 0. So this is the special case to this equation here. I hope you know now how to graph linear functions. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!